So, will Halo turn too competitive? Find out now. I remember a tweet a while ago by Lurker Zero. He tweeted a 343 employee about ranked and unranked playlists for Halo 5 Guardians. Now, the response was from this 343 employee, I don't remember details. It was something along the lines of, why would you want to play unranked when you can be judged on your skill level? Now, this is of course old news and I, I just wanted to go back to go forward. So, no, they're, this one person's ideal ranking system from inside 343 is no unranked playlists. Now with the Halo 5 beta, we, should, we saw a potentially good ranking system. It's what we've been asking for for a while. I mean, it's nothing like as developed as League of Legends. It's just a few staggered levels. However, there was no sign of unranked playlists or anything, which is an issue. Especially in game types like Big Team and Action Sack. You, ha you cannot have ranks in those playlists. And another issue I have is what is left of the casual scene within Halo due to the Master Chief Collection being such a shambles and using so much viewership and playership so much so that they don't even put the player numbers on the matchmaking screen. Now that tells you how confident 343 are in their game. That tells you how confident they are with people playing their game. They don't want to show it to the public because they don't want their diehard fans like you watching the video and me want to see. They don't want to let us down. They don't want us hide anything. Now, with MCC being such a shambles and the Xbox One getting absolutely slaughtered by sales compared to the PlayStation 4, casual players on Halo have completely gone. There are none. There, there literally is... I mean, there are some, but there is not nearly as many as there was in Halo 4 and Halo Reach and Halo 3. And he's damaged Halo. I don't want Halo to be an over-competitive game. I don't want it to turn into Counter-Strike. Because sometimes you sit down, you get in, and you want gaming to be fun. You want to sit down and play for fun. And getting and playing for your rank every single time is just not fun. I found this with Halo 5, I've addressed this issue before. Playing for ranks isn't fun. Because of the way that you don't want pressure on your back every time you play a video game. That's all I think. I think that if 343 really need to implement unranked stuff as well as ranked. If Halo 5 is all ranked, I think we could lose com uh, casual scene completely. And I'm not even joking. I think casual gaming for Halo will completely go. And that will severely, severely damage the population. And I see it from in a com sort of competitive player. And I'm sure most of you will see it from a, a, co a sort of competitive scene where you play Halo. D you're a dedicated Halo fan. And... But from a casual point of view, you know, you, where's the point in playing Halo when you can play new Battlefield games coming out soon? Um, Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? Where they're more tailored, casual game. And Halo's a hard game. Halo is not easy. It, is, it requires a lot of skill to be good at the game. Anyway guys, is this the end for casual Halo? Comment in the description box below what you think. Like, subscribe, join, and Twitch. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.